There is a very crucial question in arithmetic progression. What is the difference between nth term and the last term? This is a very confusing question. A students generally ask, what is the difference? Let me explain. What is the difference and what is the similarity between nth term of an arithmetic progression, last term of the arithmetic progression. So this is an example, 6, 30, 20 and 216. In this example we see that 216, this is 216 and this is the last term of the arithmetic progression. Here 6 is the first term. So if we have been asked to find 20th term, T20, we have to find 20th term. So how can we find the 20th term? We can find 20th term, T20 is equal to A, that is the first term of the arithmetic progression, plus N minus 1 into T, where N is the, that particular term we have to find. Here N is 20. So we write that A6 plus n is 20, this is 20 nth term, this is nth term, so 20 minus 1 and d, d is the difference of any two successive terms, that is 20 and 13 or 13 and 6, so difference of 20 and 13, so the difference of 20 and 13 is equal to 7 and the difference of 13 and 6 this is also 7. So, common difference is 7. Now, we use 7 in place of D. So, this equals to 6 plus 19 into 7 is equal to 6 plus 9763. 6, 7, 1, 6, 13 is equal to uh, 6, 3, 9, 3, 1. So, 20th term is 139. And what about the last term? So this is the last term. And if, suppose, suppose, if you have to find the last term of the arithmetic progression, this is not given. 216 is not given. So last term, last term L is equal to A plus N minus 1 into D. But we cannot use n is equal to 20 here. This is the difference. This is the difference. So n is not equal to 20 if we have to find the last term of the arithmetic progression. So what will the value of n? Value of n, you have to find the value of n. That is how many terms are there in this arithmetic progression so that the last term is 216. So this is the difference between nth term and the last term of an arithmetic progression. If you have to find the last term of the arithmetic progression, we must have been given first term n, that is how many terms are there between the first term and the given last term and the common difference. And if you have to find the nth term of the arithmetic progression, we just need first term, common difference, and that particular term that is 20th term or 25th term or 30th term that is n. So this is the difference and I am sure students are now uh, having no confusion uh, in the difference between nth term and uh, uh, the last term. Thank you.